out of the three green leaders that we do have, Brawly, Gohan, and the Androids, the Androids is probably the least played out of the three. But today, I'll give them a chance. I personally don't really like using them. However, this video may change my mind. So when they are awakened, they get, and you have six or more energy, this card gets 10,000 power on your turn. So they become a permanent 30,000 power attacking unit, which is pretty strong. And they still keep their draw one effect in the normal Android 17 form. They are a draw one character. It's a much more aggressive leader. Gohan's got the defensive ability and Brawly's just got a better stat base, which in turn makes him a little bit more of a defensive character. So these guys are really there to try to kill as fast as possible, which is kind of the opposite with green decks. So this is my current deck build for the androids. Um, that's also a massive change from any other green deck because there are some things limited to Saiyans and some things that are limited to a specific ability that the Brawly and Gohan does with their Awakened Leader skill. You can't run some cards like the 5 cost Engine Goku. Some of the green cards are limited now. So you are mostly running Androids here and the way you are going to be building up your energy is Jero's Lab. Once I play it, I will explain more. But this is the deck build. We still have the big beaters like the level 8 Brawly, level 7 Secret Gohan, level 6 Androids in here that I'm only running two of because you can search them with this level 1 Android 20, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is what we are going to be using today. Let's see if we can get a win. All right, we are versing somewhat of a pro. But before that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Dragon Ball Fusion World content. There's a code hidden in today's video for an Awakened Pulse Booster Pack, so good luck finding it. And if you want to see me stream these games live, I'm at twitch.tv forward slash jfanta, and you can join the Discord linked in the description as well. But let's get into the match. Beerus. So Beerus, there's a potential that it may not go well. He's a critical enemy. He has a deck where you can use um, the field. So luckily... Red is the only one with the field. But in the future, because they rely on the field to get energy, these guys will get weaker by the day. So we did get the field, which is good. Uh, let's go and charge the Gohan here. And we can go for the attack. See if we pick up something better. Nope. We just get another Gohan, which is fine. I uh, kind of use the Gohan as like a defensive character just so that if i do pull the andrew 16 i can get a free life out of it and a, another character but that's a good start for now of course because we want to ramp we want to protect our units as much as we can since it's red i will try to use this goku as fast as possible since he could really just get rid of it right now so let's go and combo with these two i don't mind using the two If it means just surviving an extra turn. And there you go. So we are playing against one of our weaknesses. That is quite the shame. All right. Um, well, guess we'll have to ditch the Jero's lab here. Go for the attack. Play Android 18 to draw a card. And we can discard the card. And we'll end our turn. Uh, here I can't really protect. Sometimes critical works with the androids just because you can start special summoning shit. Which is actually kind of an interesting tactic. He is going to be summoning Frost to nullify my attacks. That's annoying. Uh, let's go and charge you. And we will attack Beerus to draw. Then here we can actually play Jero. And we got 28 cards. Let's use the skill. And we do find one, luckily. So it's like a... It's a 50%, man. Oh. 
You can have two fields on? I did not know. I thought there can only be one field at a time. So we use the energy marker to... Our energy. And we can end our turn. I actually did not know this. <laughs> that you could use two. That is, um... That is a surprise to me, actually. Uh, we have nothing really to defend here. We've got another field. Well, since I know fields can't get destroyed, uh, I might as well charge with it. Alright, since we're at 6 energy, we can start with the offensiveness. Which is flipping now. And going for the attack here. All right, so looking good. I looking good. I thought this would be a little bit rough around the edges, but this is working out. So we do have the Andrews to counter these three energy users. Don't mind keeping them there for the time being. We will just combo here. He could pull out some... He's got 5 energy. I'm going to just say that he can minus one of my androids. So playing one of them is probably the play. Yep, there it is. Goku. So I can actually run... Um... Gohan here next turn. To just eliminate his board. So let's go and do that. Get rid of his crit here. And we shall end our turn. So whatever he plays here, we've got two super combos and the Brawly for next turn. We actually don't even need this energy field now. That is so lucky that we can <laughs> we can play it to it if we can play our own field because I really thought there was only one field available. So yeah, the Beerus here. I mean, still a twenty thousand beast, but he can minus ten thousand power. If he works his ass off, he can actually destroy this Gohan. I've seen it happen. Interesting play. So this is where we excel with the androids right here. So we can go and charge. Then we can go and play you. To destroy these two. And we win. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! So that was the Androids deck build. Actually quite fun. I love using the field. And knowing that the field is now not destroyable pretty much. is actually really huge as that can just solo ramp for you. 
And if you use that ability by spending one green, you actually get one active energy back. So you're still in the same energy level as you were at the start of the turn, which is really good. But I'd probably stick with the Brawly as I'd like the leader ability just a little bit more. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notification bell on. And I'll see you guys in the next video.